the Lord began to reproach the towns where most of His mighty deeds had been done because those towns did not repent. In Filipino, it says, At nagsimulang tulig sa ini Jesus ang mga bayang ginawa niya ng kanyang mga himala sapagkat hindi naman sila nagbagong buhay. This is the context of our gospel reading for today. The Lord reproached the towns of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. My dear brothers and sisters, we must be careful to catch the accent in the voice of Jesus. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! What does the Greek word woe mean? The Greek word for woe is translated in English as alas. So it's like saying, alas for you, Chorazin, alas for you, Bethsaida, or wea, o wea, or sorrowful pity for you, for you, Chorazin, sorrowful pity for you, Bethsaida, sorrowful pity for you, Capernaum. In Filipino, Sawimpalad ka, Corazin. Beautiful. Sawimpalad ka, Bethsaida. Sawimpalad ka, Capernaum. But the accent in the voice of Jesus is not the accent of anger. It is the accent of disappointment. It is the accent of displeasure. It is the accent of sorrow. The anger comes not from outraged pride but from a broken heart. The broken heart of the Lord because out of frustration. It's not because of condemnation. What was the scene of Chorazin, of Bethsaida, and of Capernaum? Our Lord even added that the scene of these three towns was worse than the scene of Tyre and Sidon, even worse than the scene of Sodom and Gomorrah. The scene must have been very serious because again and again, Tyre and Sidon are denounced for their wickedness and Sodom and Gomorrah were a byword for iniquity and immorality. So what was the scene of Chorazin Bethsaida and Capernaum. There are three little points. Number one, it was the scene of the people who forgot the responsibilities of privilege. The scene of people who forgot the responsibilities of privilege. They heard the word of God. And to listen to the Word of God is a great responsibility. A person will be judged according to what he has had a chance to know. It is like saying we cannot condemn a person who never had a chance to know any better. But if a person who has had every opportunity to know the right still does the wrong, then that person stands condemned. In other words, the greater our privileges have been, the greater is the condemnation. If we fail to shoulder the responsibilities and accept the obligations that these privileges bring with them, because responsibility is the other side of privilege. You want privilege? You have responsibilities. You want rights? You have duties. The second point, what is the scene of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum? It was the scene of indifference, lack of interest, lack of concern, lack of sympathy, callousness, 
apathy, the sin of indifference. Actually, these cities did not attack Jesus. They did not drive Jesus away from the gates. They did not even ask Jesus to be crucified. They simply disregarded Jesus. That is why neglect can kill as much as persecution can. There may neither be any hostility to Christianity nor the desire to destroy it, but there can be indifference even on our part whenever we listen to the words of Jesus. The sin of indifference in Filipino, palang pakiala. The third and last point. It was the sin of doing nothing. The sin of doing nothing. In catechism, we learn that there are two kinds of sins. Sins of action or sins of deed. We call sins of commission. But there are also sins of inaction or absence of deeds. The sin of omission. The sin of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum was the sin of doing nothing. They heard the call to repentance. They heard the call to conversion. But they did not res re respond. They took it for granted. They considered it not important. They did not do anything. Similarly, there are people who say once in a while, You cannot blame me. I did nothing wrong. Yes, you did nothing wrong. But you did nothing right either. Yes, you did nothing wrong. But you did nothing right either. My dear friends, these are the sins of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. Number one, the sin of the people who forgot the responsibilities of privilege. Number two, the sin of indifference. And number three, the sin of doing nothing. Amen.